1793, Louis XVI was executed as a result of the overthrow of the French monarch. After this, Maximilien Robespierre came to power in the new government of France. Robespierre became afraid of rebellion against the new French Republic. Over the next year, tens of thousands of people were executed under suspicion of going against the convention. This period of intense radicalism became known as the Reign of Terror. July 10, 1793, the ironically named Committee of Public Safety was founded. This committee was responsible for finding, trying, and executing those against the Republic. As the first method of execution was the guillotine. A large, heavy blade would fall from above, severing the victim's head from their body. According to the inventor, the guillotine was so fast that death was nearly painless. October 14, 1793. Marie Antoinette is tried by the Revolutionary Council. She was accused of sending millions of money to Austria, plotting to kill the Duke of Orleans, sexually abusing her son, and planning the massacre of the Swiss Guards in 1792. October 16, 1793. Marie Antoinette is convicted of her crimes. She is paraded through the streets with no hair. We all know the story of Marie Antoinette saying, Let them eat cake. But it's not true. Marie Antoinette's last words were, Pardon me, sir. I meant not to do it. She had stepped on the executioner's foot. Then he cut her head off. Marie Antoinette was no more. As time went on, the government became more and more paranoid, and the execution rates climbed higher and higher. Faith in the new government started to fall. This prompted even more executions. The streets began to smell of blood. Neighbors, friends, and families turned against each other for fear of being accused themselves. By 1794, French citizens were outraged and wanted the blood to stop. Even members of the convention knew Robespierre had gone too far. On July 27th, Robespierre was overthrown. On the 28th, he was... Maximilien Robespierre was the last victim of the Reign of Terror.